Yo, what's up, guys? Hey, I got you right with the title. Hold up, man. I'm telling you, you will not want to miss this. Um, all these things I'm going to give you are for your own good. You understand? Anyway, guys, um, welcome back to Want Motivates. If you're new here or you've been here before and you haven't done it, please go down there, subscribe to the channel. You got to watch my videos. You got to like it. You got to even share it. A lot of people don't even know that I exist. I'm like this small to the YouTube area and I have so much information, right? That a lot of channels don't give you. So I need your help, right? So um, the reason I made this video and the reason I named it this is because a lot of people really don't know what they're getting themselves into when they get into a career. You know, whether it's nursing, whether it's radiology, whether it's, you know, a teacher or a doctor or whatever the case may be. People don't know, you know, what they're getting themselves into. So I made this because I'm going to give you 10 reasons why this might not be for you. And why might the, the, you make you want to think something differently? Because the last thing you want to do is go to school for two years, do all that hard work, you know, and, you know, or do all the work to get into the program. When you're in the program, you're like, man, you know what? I didn't know this. I didn't know this. I didn't know that. So that's why you come here because I got you. All right. So the first one is this is my thing that I didn't know. And it's crazy hours. Um, and this is based on the hospital setting. Now, if you want to work in an outpatient setting or whatever, that's different. They got different hours. But if you want to make the money, it's in the hospital and they have crazy hours. So you can either work morning shift, 7 to 3.30, um, evening shift, 3.30 to 11, or night shift, uh, I think it's like 11 to 7, depending on what hospital you work. You can do 8s, you can do 12s. Uh, there's weekend 16-hour shifts. It's crazy. There's so many hours, which could be good and bad. I didn't know that. You know, I've always been stuck with the bad hours, you know. So, luckily right now, I'm getting to better hours in my career. But you don't always end up like that. Um, so, that's something to think about, guys. The hours. If you got a family, if you got kids, you know, the last thing you want to do is miss out on everything because you got to work. Or you got, or you're assigned to these crazy hours, man. So, pay attention to that, okay? The second one, I will say, is... Each mode that when you come to radiology, your foundation should be x-ray. Always. Um, I always say on my videos, don't go straight into MRI. Don't go straight into something because you want a foundation just in case that's not what you really want to do. You have something to fall back on, you know. So the thing about radiology is you always want to start your foundation, which is RT. But if you do want to do MRI, CT, nuclear medicine, um, radiation therapy, you, those all come with a registry. And that's tough. That's tough because it's like, I just passed my RT license. Now I gotta go back to do another test, another registry. And it's like, it's hard. It is, it's, it's hard, it's stressful. Um, so that's something to think about guys. If you wanna move to different modalities, just know that it's gonna come with different registry tests and they do not make them easy. I'm not trying to scare you. If I can do it, anybody can do it. But that comes with that. Um, the third one is OR and floral cases. A lot of people don't understand that. We just don't press a button all day. No, the, the, well, I guess it is, but it's not, you know. Um, it's not just regular general x-rays. Um, you do have to do floral cases. And floral cases, a lot of people don't know this, but comes with barium enemas. Yes, you have to tip, yeah, and you have to inject contrast. It's the way it is. I didn't know that we had to do that. You know, so this is something that you guys, you know, if you're thinking about doing it, know that that's going to that's gonna come with it. It's going to happen. You know, they're very uncomfortable for the patient, uncomfortable for the tech sometimes, but you keep it professional, you know, and you do what you have to do. But it's a test that a lot of doctors still order to this day, even though we do have CAT scan that can kind of take over a little bit. But that just doesn't always happen, you know, so we're stuck doing those sometimes. And, you know, we're here for patient care, so we do it with dignity, with respect, we respect the patient. But um, those are things that I didn't know. So think about that. The one, the thing I want to say about OR cases, right? OR is so tough sometimes, so stressful. Some some surgeons are, are tough, man. They're tough on you um, because they're under stress. So they put you under stress. So it's, it's a tough environment. It's so tough that some techs choose to work overnight because they don't even want to deal with the OR. You know, and that's sad. You know, you go to school for two years to be an x-ray tech. You want to make good money, so you stay at the hospital, but you don't want to do OR, so you go to overnight. You know what I mean? And that's that's a sad situation, man. You know, and, and I'm telling you, if you decide to go into it, you're gonna to go to the you're gonna to go to the hospital. You're gonna do you know your clinical rotations, and you're gonna see how many people hate the OR. 
It, it just either you love it or you hate it. And that's something you have to understand when you get into the field. Um, <clears throat> number four is it's a stressful job, man. It's stressful. You know, I mean, ah, OK, I can't say it's always stressful. It's busy, stressful. It depends where you work, of course. Uh, what department you're working at at the moment or in that given day, which is ER, OR, or floral portables. There's a lot, hundred, I'm going to say, yeah, maybe hundreds of portables you do during season a day. You know, that can be tough. It can be stressful. You'd be like, oh, man, I got 20 portables in the morning, so-and-so. So that's a stressful job. You know, you come in and, you know, it, it, it's, it could be stressful, guys. So think about that. Um, Number five is, uh, what did I put in here? Okay, so number five is that um, I had to write everything down too, you know, I'm human. But number five is that you really can't move up that easy. You know, just to give you an example, you know, we have a director at my current facility and she runs three hospitals and two urgent cares. So you think about it you're like, man, you know, one day I want to be a manager and one day I want to be a director. But what are the odds? I mean, let's be honest. What are the odds of you, of me? really moving up to be a manager or yourself to go for x-ray because we're not needed that way. It's kind of like slim to none, the chance. You know, I'm not saying it can't happen. I'm just giving you a scenario that for five hospitals, for five for five buildings, there's only one director in radiology, which is tough, you know? So if you want to move up and that's your mentality, like, oh, you know, I like to progress and move up or whatever, it's going to be hard, you know? Like I said again, guys, not that it's not possible for you, out there but it's very slim now you can always they're gonna always allow you to move to the side there which what i mean by the side is take a ct registry become a ct tech become an mri tech become an ultrasound tech become a nuclear medicine tech radiation therapy tech they'll let you do all that but to move up it's a little tougher you know what i mean so think about that guys if you're that ambitious person um six <sighs> six is tough man because it happens everywhere and it's happening even more now more than ever, more than ever, and it's short staffed. So short staffed. Like for instance, um, sometimes I, luckily I have help today, right? But sometimes when I come to a certain hospital in our area, um, in our you know organization, um, there's like 50 beds and there's only one tech. So you're here and you're doing all these beds back to back, and some and some patients you just don't do one X-ray. There's multiple, you know. So on one patient you can have knees, elbows, pelvis chest and most of those patients that have all that can't even move so it's so it's so short staff because you can't call for help because they're doing portables you can't call for help because they need two or three or techs and or doing surgery you can't call for help because they have floral cases going on so it's not part of the hospital it's just the situation right now it's super super short staff um you're going to get overworked and uh that's something to keep in mind i know every job every career has its thing but in radiology in general we are short staff at the moment. And it's crazy because when I graduated 12 years ago, I had to beg for a job. I was like, please hire me. Please, I need this. Like, you had to, like, really beg. Now, they're, they're taking students just like this. Boom. Like, before they graduate, hey, you want to work? Hey, you got a job? Hey, this. Not when I was came on out, but, back, but now they do that, you know. But even then, it's still short staff, man. Because now... The students know that they can pick and choose where they want to go. So now they're like, you know what? We're not stressed. We're going to work PRN. If you work PRN, it's only when they need you and, and you can work when you want. So now the students, was us, the, the techs have the advantage. But then the people that work here full time are still in a disadvantage because we're still short staff. So remember that. So seven. Seven is a tough one that I didn't know that we had to do. And that is be on call. Being on call is tough, man, because, you know, especially if you have a family, even if you it don't matter if you have family or not, you're tired, you did, just did a 12-hour shift, you go home, and if it's your week to be on call, they can be like, hey, hey, man, I just ordered an OR, you know, you need to be here within an hour because we have two cases going on, and you might have to be here. That's tough. I didn't know that. I didn't know that getting into the career. I didn't know that we had to be on call. And, um... Well, remember that man you're tired you're in your deep sleep like oh man i gotta go to work it's a blessing to have a job it's a blessing to have a good career but it's if you choose this you'll be on call um so number eight eight is everywhere no matter where you work is management sometimes you have a great management sometimes you have bad management sometimes you have 
communication communication management that communicates with you all the time and then you have management that don't communicate with you so the management part can be um you know 50 50 you just don't know what you're gonna get you know i know again that's what every career you choose you never know what manager you're gonna get you just pray for the best <laughs> that's all you can do um for nine nine is something that um, a lot of techs don't want don't like to deal with, you know, because they can be tough at times and it's students, nothing against students. I love students. I love having students because I love to show them. I love to talk to them. I like to like communicate, be like, oh, you don't do this. A, protect yourself. A, like I like to give, you know, like advice. And that's what, that's what I did my channel, right? To, to give it advice. So I enjoy students, but you have techs out here that, that, um, that don't like students, you know? So that's per person scenario. You know, if you're that type of person that don't like to get bothered, um, if you become an x-ray tech, just work overnight because you won't have students. <laughs> just FYI. Um, and the last one I think is super, super important that a lot of people don't realize how important this is. Um, and that's you're limited of where you can work. So you can only work in hospitals and imaging centers. That's it. Only two places you can work if you become an RT. Um, so that's tough, man, because you're limited. So say you live in an area that don't have a hospital or your hospital is 30 minutes away or an hour away, you have to drive every day if you pick this career, if you don't decide to move, you know. Um, so that's a, that's a big thing because if you think about nursing, um, PTA, um, even dentists, the dentist, hygienist, they can work in, you know, dentists are everywhere. So if you're a dental hygienist, you can work anywhere, right? Always have a job, whatever. Um, if you work a nurse, you can, if you're a nurse, you can work at hospitals, imaging centers, ho um, schools, um, you can work from home, you can, there's so many, home health, so many places you can work, same thing with PTA, but an x-ray, hospital, and imaging centers, that's it, something to think about guys, it's super, super important, I make these videos to help you make the best decision for you, like I always say, not just for you right now, but for you in the future, so hey guys, I hope that this helped you, always stay tuned, and thank you so much for your support. Yeah, I know.